I seen this I seen this come long way pretty much like when you're just when you return all of a sudden and then you start pumping with memes what do you expect ladies and gents I've discussed uh, analyzed and broken down actually the Keith Gill's plan you know assumption based on what people are posting online if you haven't watched the video maybe check it out I'll give you my two cents after we read this thing okay Rotting Kitty sued over GameStop shares. Keith Gill, known as Rotting Kitty, has been sued for securities fraud in the Eastern District of New York by Martin Radev, who alleges Gill manipulated the market through his promotion of GameStop on social media. The lawsuit claims Gill did not adequately disclose his intent to sell options, misleading followers and causing investor losses. Oh yeah, he sold the options. <laughs> so look at this. The case has sparked discussions about the broader context of financial market regulation, with some users highlighting the contrast between Gill's situation and the trading activities of members of Congress. The plaintiff in the lawsuit is reported to hold a relatively small number of shares and options in GameStop, leading to skepticism about the case's strength and impact on Gill. Hmm. I mean, now, if you're fighting with someone who has like half a billion dollar, uh, you know, sitting there, it has to be you know worth something ladies and gents like you know but this is legitimate he literally did that in a way like maybe that wasn't the intention come on if you're telling me if you're telling me he posting this dog whatever right on what june 27th which got five million views and people are literally sharing this for whatever reasons five thousand comments he's literally moving the market to some extent and yeah just like you know most people will say hey i didn't know people would buy based on my dog meme you really didn't know that? Even if I posted a meme token, at least one or two people would buy. Barely if I have uh, followers, I get it. My case is very different. But you're telling me this guy with millions of subs and followers, with a huge YouTube channel, and yes, in the beginning he came, fought, fought against the hedge funds, this and that. That's a totally different story. But later, when he came back second time, something was fishy, all right? I don't know if it's greed, whatever that is, because this guy doesn't talk. Even his live stream was a, I feel paid attention, the live, when he went live. Massive amount of people actually tuned in. And what did he do? <sighs> anyways, anyways, I'll give you my two cents at the end. I have a few things I want to talk about. In my last video, I said ETFs are scam. I also want to explain a little bit on that because it connects with retailers. He came out supporting retailers. Retailers saw him, God, oh my God, Raring Kitty, he's going against hedge funds. He must be our ruler, whatever. And then you saw what happened the first time. The second time, again, I doubt, okay? Now, this is the thing. Justin, Ryan Kitty, aka Kid Gill, has been sued. So this is actually, this has been filed. You can see the date. You know what's funny? He posted the dog stuff on 27th, and this came on 28th. It was filed on 28th, all right? This is actually the court documents. And you can have the, the link to the lawsuit is right here, court listeners. Should I pull that up? It's Adobe, right here, okay? So this is right there. You can see clearly. Wow. It's a pretty decent sized chunk. I'm not going to go through this entire stuff, but you can see this. This guy's listed all the memes and everything in the document itself. Wow. That's interesting. I mean, nowadays, of course, look, this is how he started, right? I want to read just a little bit from the back. Um, let me see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. This is huge. I could have used AI to summarize this very easily, but anyways. Plaintiff individually and on behalf of other similarly situated by plaintiff undersigned attorneys for plaintiff's complaint against Keith Patrick Gill alleges the following based upon personal knowledge as to plaintiff's and plaintiff's own acts and information and belief as to all others matters based upon... Man, the court papers are so, you know, <laughs> corporate language just gets you. This is a federal securities class action class action on behalf of a class consisting of all persons and entities other than defendant that purchase or otherwise acquired games of securities between May 13, 24. So th anyone who bought during this time, because obviously he came back, I got it long time back. I don't fall in this category. Both dates inclusive, the class period, seeking to recover damages caused by defendants violations of the federal securities laws and to pursue remedies under sections. So they are looking for the, to recover the money losses. And he said, so-called this this individual doesn't have significant holding but if you even if that meant if you're comparing with kid gill who has like millions 70 100 millions whatever maybe this guy has one two three million maybe i'm just assuming 
Because even comparing to that, that's tiny, right? GameStop is a specialty retailer. Okay, I don't want to explain this. Defendant known as Roaring Kitty on YouTube and the social media platform. As Okay, on social media platform Reddit is an American financial analyst, investor, blah, blah, blah. Defendant is also a former registered stockbroker. He's a former registered stockbroker who holds several securities industry licenses as well as one of the... Wow. Several in securities industry licenses as well as one of the GameStop's largest shareholders. As of June 24, defendant had over 1.6 million followers and 900,000 subscribers on YouTube. Almost 1 million subscribers. That That's huge. That's huge. You can literally move billions with that. I mean, I'm not joking, man. That's what it is. And he has influence. There's a difference. A lot of people have followers, but they don't have that influence. They die down. This guy just came out. He understood the game. If I'm not wrong, I'm just breaking it down. What I'm seeing, okay? He understood the game plan. He knows the hype, the meme hype, how to get certain things. And because of him, I don't know how many people got rich, not only on GME, but the other side. People created tokens. I'm going to show you this in a second, all right? Random BS tokens. Puppy, Kitty, milking millions of dollars on the other side as well, on the blockchain side. Wow, man. If you were on the right side and you played along and you went off, you're fine, I guess. <laughs> Maybe let me know if you were one of the game, like, you know, gamers out there who literally killed it. <laughs> Defendant's ability... Here, look, check this, check this out. Defendant's ability to rally a massive following of retail investors to purchase uh, and hold games of securities through his social media posts is well documented. In 2021, after the meme stock movement sparked chaos in the financial markets as major hedge funds and others lost billions of dollars in short squeeze events, defend Defendant testified before the U.S. Ho uh, House Committee. Yeah, he, he did that previously, right? On financial services about the meme stock movement as perceived champion and face of that movement for games and investors. In fact, defendant is largely credit credited as sparking the meme stock movement. And in 2022, a biographical film called Dumb Money, which I watched, it's on Netflix, was released. <laughs> this events. Maybe he wants part two. He wants a second documentary on him, I guess. Defendant's last post on Reddit in 2021 showed that his GameStop positions were worth approximately 30 million. That's like 2021. Defendant made his fortune as an investor largely, if not entirely, as a result of his participation in 2021 meme stock movement. Probably. Man, this is long. Not here to read everything, ladies and gents, but you know this is real. And if you guys have lost a lot of money in the crypto space, I know it's, this is regulated. That's a sad part. In crypto, I see this all day long. But it's unregulated, so guess what? You can't do much of it, right? People lose money and you just can't do a class action lawsuit. I literally have documentary on so many scams. What if I just do the same thing and stick up all the, um, you know, let me show you this. So these are the allegations here. Substantive allegations, background. And again, GameStop Special Retailer provides scam. They're talking about, let me just come to the real point. The class period begins, okay, that's, we know this. So here, here is the documenting part, right? He's showing off all these screenshots here. Wow, 28 million views, obviously. As exhibit above, defendants made 12 Twitter posts, garnered approximately 28.5 million views, 12,000 comments. Yeah? I mean, you can see what's happening here. Following and paying attention to GameStop securities as in, indicated by comments posted in by reply. A lot of people are picking it up, right, on this. Yo, I'm glad to see you back before GME bull cycle kicks in. Look forward. GameStop after this tweet. Whoa. You see this? May 12th? I actually didn't see this go up this high. This actually happened, right? Like, game. this actually went up to $145. We are so back. <laughs> I like the stock. Okay. Of course. Um, okay, but which platform can you buy without getting stopped? He's saying pay attention. Pay attention. Well, the next day, defendant posted a subsequent series of memes on X. See, I also mentioned... Your Honor, I just posted a dog token. A, not dog token, a dog picture. What did I do wrong? It was just a dog I like. I saw on the internet, I posted and people acted on it. See, I just told you, it's just so cringe, right, at times. Like, when you know, you know exactly how the meme thing works, Keith. Come on, man. <laughs> and it's so obvious. And if you look, I, I actually paid attention. I was documenting whole of this thing. But this is more... You know, in depth, everything is included here. Look at this. Wow. Wow. YOLO. Hmm. And you can see here, he has all the call options. So do you understand that? Me, I'm, I'm a noob, okay? In the call actions, what happens in call options and stuff? All right? Retailers are not buying the calls. Retailers are, you're pumping it. So if he says, I'm expecting GME to pump to this, and he's buying the call options, 
and literally post a meme and everyone retailers pump it he can sell it sell those call options and make so much of money and that's what he did according to alleged the paper right sad story sad story man sad story i've seen this last time i'm seeing this right now you know not that i want this dude to go under but when you do stuff like this like you people retailers are looking at you looking up to you in a way oh you're fighting against the hedges and this and this yeah i'm gonna take it and again you repeat the same cycle and i kind of people fell for the same stuff again i mean i kid you not there are a lot of people who are, who were holding and for the previous round i had a i have a friend not had a friend i have a friend he literally said yeah man i actually tried to play with it a little bit this time as well i'm like you kidding me and he lost <laughs> he lost money yes it's just the hands are itchy man when you have the robin hood and everything it's i feel like it's so much of like um connected somehow to each other right i don't know if they're under if they're connected but the way the whole thing is playing like you know robin hood makes a lot of money from the exchange fees and so much stuff and they can stop people from buying like halt <laughs> and the hedges are also winning in a way i mean you're really telling me like the last one he took down that dude has one of the richest what billion dollar mansion somewhere in florida ladies and gents you gotta be so careful man this is so wild and yeah i like to cover news like this once in a while so we can learn something from this if i said you know i got rid of a couple of them at 60 something i literally set a sell order i do have some but it's kind of worthless to me okay i'm not gonna make millions of dollars but if i didn't have those things i would never be able to be because I would never know the price went up. I have to be so active on the exchange, right? In the exchange, like, so I can click the button and then sell. Not everybody can do that. Most are just holding bags. So anyway, this is what there. And you know what? This is his account. Last post, he has this source, source, squeeze, whatever on the stuff. And what else? Nothing. And if you look, look at, look at this one here. What is this? Look at this. You know how many accounts are there verified like this? Keep Gill on Soul. And they're, you, you're telling me when they post stuff like this, they're not making any money. They literally have a Keep Gill coin now. People are just... Uh, my posts get like 20 views. And these posts are getting like thousands of views. Like 1.2k. Look at this here. And address so people can buy this token. at Solana Pumps. It's crazy. Hey, listen. You can win if you just get early. But again, most people will not unless you're very aggressive. I'm giving you information. You can take it the way you want it, but don't go against humanity, that's all. Because when you play, as long as you don't manipulate and do crazy stuff, you're good, right? So let me just see a little more. Let's see what people say about this dude. And then we'll, we'll be off. Yeah, of course, this is another thing. They're talking about the po politicians and Congress. What if they do it? They're doing it, right, in a way? But in another way, like, how many times did we see Nancy actually post something? Maybe she did. Did she? Nvidia stock has now risen 133 since Nancy Pelosi bought up 5 million of Nvidia call options. Right. I know. This is so you see what's happening here. They're all trying to defend Keith, which is totally fine. They all have the right to do so. Like, look at this guy. This guy did this. This guy in the Congress did this. And I'm not supporting that. I never said that they're doing the right thing. But in terms of like posting a meme. And with a massive following, in terms, I don't know if these Congress people are actually posting their pics on places and saying, hey, you know, I'm buying this. Or, hey, I mean, they don't understand the memes culture. I mean, come on. Kid Gill is next level. But anyway, valid points. You're right. They should be sued too. Go for it. Sue them. Right? Breaking. The Roaring Kitty has been sued in this turn. Okay, I said this. I want to see some of the comments here, man. So a dude named Martin Radev is suing Roaring Kitty for securities fraud due to the promotion of GameStop Jamie in a classic lawsuit. The dude has 35 shares and a couple of options. I don't think the case has the best chance in court and won't really affect Keith Gill. Oh yeah, in terms of Keith, I mean, he's like, he's gonna throw a couple millions and it's gone, I guess. I don't know, I'm just saying. But, but again, come on, man. Don't look up. I, what, are you, what are you telling me to do now? Just look down at, to, uh, at this dude who has 35 shares? Like just because he's so poor? He can he has zero chance to win. So you're trying to tell me you're giving you're giving an example of like what happens in the real world, right? All the big dudes always win. The small players always get crushed. Is this what kind of thing we're gonna like lesson we are learning from this? That's not cool either. You get the point? 
because all the retailers are losing and they can never do anything then so my point is not suing him my point is whoever if he's really if he knows what he's doing okay it's his intention i say all this all the same time always intention ladies and gents so this dude is just bent out of shape that is a lot of ticket options cool <laughs> delaware lawyers just made a ton of money i'm actually surprised what made he even go after keith when you're holding only 35 shares that's also another thing because unless you're really really aggressive nobody cares I, i'm calling out scammers in crypto space they lose thousands of dollars thousands of thousands yet can't do anything i mean of course that's not regulated in a way but what do you think about this it's sad price per share but again someone has to take a stand to make an example right someone has to take a stand so then it can go forward so please i don't believe you and yes for that sure man delaval lawyers made a ton of money and for that i guess you were in one of the mario no Falls show you know mario no Falls is a less scammer so how come why do you want me to believe any of these dudes here like some of these dudes are like they have these millions of followers and they're hanging out with other scammers and they're just posting all this stuff here. Like, what do you want me to believe? Crap, man, crap. So you're telling me that Nancy Pelosi can buy stocks with government information and nothing happens to her? Not too sure if he really can... Uh, oh, by the way, same guy that sued Zach Morris and lost. Oh, you did? By the way... Oh, he lost? Hopefully, Ron Kitty acquires the same lawyer. Oh, by the way... <laughs> I feel so bad for this dude now. But at least he took a stand and he wrote a huge... Wow. Zach Morris was one of those dudes, and by the way, alleged, I was there. I, he literally, SNDL or some other meme tokens, so-called shorts. Same thing, he, pumped, he did the same thing. I kid you not. So these guys out there, right, investing without paying. Who is this guy with 1,000 followers? Forget about followers. We don't even know this guy, right? Same guy that's... So that's what I'm saying. You have to be careful. Everything is kind of like manipulated on X, but there's something you can learn from it. If you're, you know, you could dig deeper. I'm just trying to be totally unbiased. He did what he did, but I also knew what was his plan. I could, I could see it, all right? I, I, I don't see any squeeze, squashed, whatever. And you're selling call options. Then how are you supporting what retailers? You're the one who makes all the money and then everything dumps to the same old thing. Again, the same thing pumps. You again might do the same thing, right? I don't know. I'm just asking questions, man. Even if GME loses me all my money, I don't care. It was my choice. Wait, 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 this is insanity. I lost a lot more money than this guy suing in 2021. And guess what? I'm buying my choice. I love Ron Kitty. Why? You should, some of them are just trying to like, you know, dick sucking and just route the cl um, cloud, basically. Ride the cloud. Yeah, man. His position isn't even horrendous of average price. <laughs> Pump and dump. He works for a firm, firm far with skin in the game. Could it be he's trying to test the case and set a precedent? Either way, guess he likes burning money. Yeah, that's exactly what I just told you, man. He works for a firm with far more skin in the game. Hmm. But this is what I want to see as well. Right? In class action, uh, plaintiff just needs to be a shareholder. Okay. Case may be BS. But in a class action, yes, that's true. It's a class action. Right? You see that. Tiny amounts of people. That's, that's why it's called a class action. Doesn't matter if you hold one tiny, as long as you are a shareholder. Lit plaintiff just needs to be a shareholder, period. Note that generally successful class actions are designed to generate large returns for plaintiff lawyers. That's the sad part. In the Delaware Elon paper, <laughs> Lars are gonna make so much money, man. By the way, let me end you, end you. Let me end this. Man, I need to get some coffee. I didn't even touch my coffee. I have so much work today, man, and it's early morning. <sighs> but anyway, let's get excited. You know why? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, I want to see a few more things just to see. Okay, so we have all this in here. Okay, so this is a guy, Martin Radif. All right. So what is this? Class action lawsuit filed against Orin Kitty. Hmm. Trade settlement. And Dilma's must probably remember. But you know what? Let me tell you this, something interesting. Okay. Again, I'm, I'm not looking down on any one of these. I'm not a sadistic. I don't enjoy when people suffer. But I just want the truth as well. Okay. I see what I, I see. Cash grab, settle out of court. Sure, it's a cash grab, but that's not the point. The point is, I see what Darren King did. Now, the point is, if this guy happens to win, I kid you not, you know what's going to happen? The same people over here, same people who are like, oh my, I don't care about my money. Dude, this guy just won two, three million dollars of this lawsuit. I won in too. Hypocrites, man. Hypocrites, man. 
oh, I don't know. It's okay. I lost the $30. But then the court gives this guy, rewards him a million some dollars. Yeah, man. Everybody who lost money wants a piece of the pie. Hence, Ronnie Kitty has to fight to a level because that's why, you know, scammers, even they, they don't want to fight, um, give up on lawsuits. Because if one guy gets in, if he's, I've seen it all the time, all the big dudes on Netflix, so check it out. They can literally get over with it, but they don't want to do it because if one person wins against them, there are chances that other people this person has scammed or harassed will come forward and do the same thing. You get the point? Sad, but this is what it is. I mean, if you made one mistake, one person, one individual, that's a different story, right? Cut on off, done deal. But if you have done multiple times, serial times, that's a different story. Ladies and gents, this is all I have for you. Let me know what you think in the comments, all right? You be the judge. Just letting you know what happens in the whole crypto space, whole stock space, it's, it's what it is, okay? I'm just a student of life trying to learn this whole game. And that's about it. Everyone's just covering it. I'm just giving my two cents and that's it. And last but not least, remember I said I want to give you my something. <laughs> my last video, I said ETFs are scam. You know why I said that? Black, I fight for the retailers. What, did, um, what would make me a VC? An income threshold. I could become a VC just like, by the way, how do you know or not know that Ronnie Kitty is not a VC? Virtual um, capitalist, venture capitalist, right? You have to make a certain amount of money every year, income wise, to actually qualify for accredited investor. So I'm not against like VC, VCs and all that stuff because most of the YouTubers, all these dudes, scammers and whatever, LS dudes, they're probably VCs and they're also investing in so many other places, ETFs and this and that. But when I say I'm fighting for the retailers, hear me out, okay? Because this is important. They don't care about this Bitcoin on-chain, nothing. They're literally pumping. Corporations want to make money. That's why they're, they want a piece of the pie. They've seen this crypto mooning and all this mooning. So they're like, we can't let these retailers win. We need a piece of the pie. We want... That's what they did. And it's not only corporation against retailers, it's corporation versus corporation as well. If you look, BlackRock is winning versus Fidelity and Vanguard, some other, comp you know, they're losing in a way, ETF wise. So it's kind of wild ride. So yes, when I say I'm standing for the retailers, but I could be a VC, still stand up for retailers. I can still invest in all these things as long as I am, my intentions are clean and clear, straightforward. That's all. Some VCs care, some VCs don't. They just pump and dump and that's it. So yeah, don't get me wrong. ETFs are, so when I say scam, technically, obviously, you get the point. If they really cared for crypto, they would just buy the real Bitcoin, the real ETH and real Solana. Hey, it's mainstream adoption, bruh. Anyways, thanks for listening to my rant. Just wanted to clarify a few things real quick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vid.